now we know the tiny little magic uh, we want to do let's go start doing it first of all we want to update the user's migration which is already existing if you go to your laravel and uh, click on database migrations we see that we have a user's migration table already that came by default with our installation now let's update some things some fields that we feel we might need first of all we need to update the the name field to contain first name middle name and last name assuming we need it another thing we could have is um, maybe a field to check whether the user profile is active so let's start with that field that field will be a tiny int have table uh, I'll call it an integer mm. Well, let me call it a string string oh string so we're gonna call it active status status so the status is gonna have things like um, it's gonna be nullable for any new user and then we're gonna put a default value in it and that default value is gonna be active active so here are uh, um, all the options it can have uh, inactive or disabled that's another value this can have so by default when somebody logs in uh, or creates an account this status field is gonna have uh, active as its um, uh, value so now we need to know where this user is uh, so that we can tag them to jobs close to them so first of all uh, we need to know that this user is existing in table uh, string string all right so we can say city so we tag them to uh, stuff that is happening within their city we need this field to be nullable nullable means that if the user doesn't have a city there won't be errors our database wouldn't throw errors so we have city and then we can duplicate it for state or province state or province and then we can do the same for country so another option we could have is to create a country id for me for now um i just want to have it as country all right okay so um you know of course it's not the perfect way to design it the perfect way to design is to create a special country table all right and then you use country id on this uh, table but I'm, i just want to do something very basic so we'll manually hand code the countries okay so uh these are things we want to have another um option we want to have is a certain kind of status that status is going to tell us the user type so we can say type um, or user role I think I should call it role so we're gonna link it to a new table called role ID and the role by the fault is three or four four will be a job seeker you will see what I mean by that from here we just need a user a way to keep the user levels like I explained to you so we're gonna have a table called um, roles this roles is gonna give us a uh, keep record of admin uh, user whatever whatever uh, kind of users we have moderators and uh, employers and employees okay or job seekers okay we're good so the next thing we have to do is to create another migration for roles table so to create a migration you just simply go to your database and do php artisan make migration then you say create underscore um, roles table okay now if you're wondering how i got to know this thing offhand is because i've typed it so many times so it's not some black magic i typed it so many times that i memorized it but if you want to know how to do it yourself you go to laravel.com and um, you select the docs click on docs on laravel.com uh, this is an unfortunate design because it's supposed to give me the topics here but you have to click here I don't know who designed this this is not a good design at all click on documentations 
and uh, maybe it's because I'm zoomed in maybe it's because I'm zoomed in so documentation make sure I set to 6.x okay as you can see I set it to the current correct uh, or current version that you're working with so if we click on databases we'll see that there's migrations and then you will see uh, all the instructions. Look at what I just did. PHP artisan make migration, create user stable. Now what I, what I usually advise people is when I make a reference to a certain documentation in a Laravel like this, just go to that page and read through. Read it like a novel, all right? Read through, read through. It's very important. It's gonna save you time going forward. Um, instead of you to get lost, you will have a mental picture of what is already available all right otherwise you will just keep getting lost and not knowing why you are lost all right so or uh, if you come down to this place available column tables you will see the column tables that i just did you know what i just created this and it looks like magic this is where i'm getting it you see column types this is one for dates for created that this is one for decimals double enum float geometry you know positioning so you know so it's it's very important that you scan through this page read through so you see what's available right now we're good now we're very good uh, we could just make reference back to here and uh, click enter so once it's created okay the row table has been created and now we can go to our migration table. As you can see, a new file has been created. And if we click on it, that is the roles table. So first of all, to create a role, all we need in the roles table is the table name, string, the field name, which is role. And um, that is basically all we need for now. All right, that's basically all we need. So for every user that is going to be created, we're going to assign a default role ID to the user. Now, uh, the, we are going to only have three, four roles. The first role name, let me name it. The first role will be admin. Second one will be moderator. Third one will be employer. And the fourth one will be a uh, seeker job seeker a job seeker a job seeker all right cool now uh, we can do for another table that we are going to call let's go check our table diagram and choose the next table to create skills skills is a little um tricky so let's create a skills table all right so we're gonna do PHP artisan might create skills. Remember that the tables must be plural and all small letter. Now, just for ease of search, just in case we run into a situation where we want to simplify our search, okay, we could do some manipulations, which I usually do. I usually do them in my designs. So here we're just going to create table. You know I am in the users now, right? I'm in the users migration file, create table, and put this string, and say, um, and call it um, skills. I think um, instead of string, I'm going to use a. I'm going to use a long text, a long text. As usual, you can always find the kind of fields you can use in that migration documentation in Laravel. So long text, I'm going to make it nullable. Now, I'll tell you the reason why I did this. Even though we're going to use uh, database relationships and all to um, pull the skills that each user has, uh, one little search trick we can do uh, is to actually list the titles of each skills directly on the user's table so that if we run into a situation where we just want to pick a user and automatically have a list of their skills without having to query another table or chain our 
our, our database queries like do multiple joins we can have them here all right but i'm just going to keep this and maybe we'll never use it but let it be here for now okay so we now have skills what do we need we need the skill name or skill title the skill name could be php so i'm gonna do table this skill has to have uh, a, a string okay the string will be a uh, name of the skill okay which could be example php or html or whatever then we can have another table that says who owns this skill so we can do integer so that we can add the user id of the user that owns the skill beautiful now another uh, thing we can do is to do um table what is the when did you start learning this skill like skill start day you know i'm saying or uh, years of experience so if we know when this user started learning the skill we can automatically calculate the years of experience they have had okay a good way to do that is to call it a date all right we can do um start date of the skill start date so i just want it to be a year i don't need a certain date i don't think i need a certain date per se i just need a year uh so let's go to that laravel documentation and uh, look through the migrations column and look for something that has to do with um that's available columns something that has to do with date so there's a date date time no we don't need date time z decimal let's see if there's something that has to do with year uh, long text um morphs polygon sets soft deletes okay string time timestamp timestamp z tiny increments okay and uh, that's it yeah yeah there's a year here this is beautiful all right this is beautiful so we just need to know the year you started with this skill so if you have one year's training we just want to know all right so in your own design you could leave it at date so that the person can specify month and whatever so you can know how many months experience this person has okay now we need description table we need to know more things like um long text list of companies you have uh, worked with on this skill um past employment on this skill i think that's what i can call it which other best better name uh, can we call this you should suggest to me which other better name we basically want to know give us a history of your skill of your journey with this skill all right um i can call it a history past employment history past employment history history on this skill whatever just call it whatever you want but we want it to be um knowledgeable uh and then we can create any other info but we want this to be knowledgeable first I don't know why my system is coming out with all this uh, funny uh, knowledgeable. So when creating migrations, you should always be careful with the ones that need to be uh, uh, knowledgeable. Any other information. Okay. Start dates. Okay. Start um, past employment history on this skill. Employment. Employments. Uh, employment history mm, work i think instead of employment let's call it work history past work history on this skill then we can have any other information okay knowledgeable cool and remember that we must always have soft deletes Control c Control v and we have soft deletes soft deletes we're good all right so um in the next video we're going to create more migrations until we are able to complete all these tables we created here so far we have one uh two and so on okay
So one funny thing and cool thing we can have under skills is we, we would want the user to tell us their skill level. All right. A skill level has to be in three, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. All right. Okay. So we're going to have a skill level that is going to be simply mm, maybe integer. So we're going to say integer. Integer skill level level okay now another thing is that we can have a situation tomorrow that an admin can interview this person and this person must have passed this um skill in an interview so skill level is gonna be an integer so first of all it, it should be nullable sometimes it's redundant to put nullable and um default at the same time but uh, to be on the safe side we have the fourth the default should be beginner which is basically one one so we'll have beginner uh, intermediate and advanced okay I think I should we should make it integer uh, beginner we'll call this a uh, string so it should be let me Pull this to this side beginner okay usually I put comments so I can remember beginner intermediate intermediate advanced okay beautiful so um, we can check if this guy has been interviewed so we can have interview date all right admin interview date so that's going to be the date time. So here we can have date time and we call it uh, admin interview date. Okay, let's say admin interview. So with this field, um, if admin has ad interviewed this person, we can see it. So we can see admin score. Okay, admin skill level, admin score. Okay. Uh, okay, admin. Oops. We can have a uh, string. Admin score. Mm, over 10. Let's say admin score is going to be a string string okay that is um nullable but the default is uh let's not put a default just null in the beginning so if there's a number there so uh it, it will start from zero one to let's say between zero to ten so when admin I interviews this uh, individual, they are going to give them a score, and that score will range between zero to ten. All right, for this particular skill, and uh, not just admin, we can say interviewer. All right, so we can hire interviewers. We need to know who interviewed this person. So we're gonna have something like this. That's the uh, integer, integer, integer admin user ID. So we need to know the admin that the user ID. Okay, so this is gonna be nullable too. Nullable. Even this admin, this other one is gonna be nullable. Uh, admin interview nullable. Okay. Nullable soft deletes. Let's put soft deletes at the bottom. Okay, so admin has given a score, which is cool. So we can have interview requested table uh, string interview requested. So as, as you may have noticed, I'm using strings instead of numbers. That's uh, something I've learned over the years to save me time. 
So instead of pulling down a number from my code and deciding what the number is and stuff like that, I'm just going to put down, pull down a string. So if interview has been requested, it's going to be um, the default. Default is going to be no, not yet. Okay. The other answer is going to be yes. Instead of one and zero, interview requested. Okay. Is interview requested? I think that's going to be uh, interview status, not requested. I think that's better. That's much better. Having interview status. Mm, requested. Not requested. So there's going to be requested and uh, passed. So we have uh, admin interview. So finally we have, okay, I think this makes sense so far, not requested. So a, a user signs up and then requests for an interview on a specific skill. Admin shows up, interviews the person on Skype or whatever. When the person passes, admin updates this field saying that the interview uh, was passed and whatever. And finally this field of requested will change okay so passed then there's gonna be a score all right okay so um we can see interview amount just so that we can know how much this person paid for the interview if we're gonna monetize it that way so we can say interview amount is gonna be on the sorry that this video is taking longer i just want to get everything about skills over it's gonna be under um uh, somewhere at the top here you see double Double is what you use to keep any money that has to do with decimals. Any number that has to do with decimals. You can use float or double. So I prefer to use double. Okay, so I'm going to remove one of this. Double amount. I'm going to call it interview amount. Interview. Interview. Amount. Uh, interview amount paid. Paid. This is beautiful. So... We will know interview amount paid cool so we can know how much this guy paid for this interview all right so cool now what else are we supposed to know okay it's gonna be nullable it's gonna be nullable in case they didn't have to pay any money cool so see you in the next video where we go for another uh skill level at least now you get an idea of what our app will look like in the end